Hi everyone, today's video is about latency and what we can do about it as keyboard players. Latency at the core of it is just the amount of time it takes for a sound to come out of a speaker after you've pressed a key on a keyboard. And if you've ever used any software, you might have seen that there's a number in milliseconds that tells you how big that latency number is. In my experience, that number never really tells you much about what a system actually feels like to play. So I figured I should look into it and do some measurements. There's a bunch of things that need to happen in a computer-based keyboard system in order for a sound to come out of a speaker. First, the keyboard that you're playing has got to work out what keys you're playing and how hard you're hitting them. And in order to do this, the processing inside the keyboard needs to scan all those keys really, really fast to measure what keys you're playing, when you're playing them, and how hard you're pressing them down. Now, in some keyboards, that scan rate just isn't fast enough, and that means that there's a bit of a latency just in the keyboard processing itself, even before the sound's got to a computer. But in a lot of newer keyboards with a scan rate faster than about 10 kilohertz, that delay in the keyboard processing is usually like one, one and a half milliseconds, which is small, but that will still add into your total latency number. Once the keyboard has worked out what keys you're playing and how hard you're hitting them, it's got to send that information down a USB or a MIDI cable into your computer. And that MIDI interface process also adds a delay of about a millisecond. And then once that MIDI data gets into the computer, the computer's got to process that sound with whatever plugins and effects you're using, and then it's got to turn that digital sound into an analog sound to come out of a speaker. And this is where one of the biggest parts of the delay comes from, which is the processing buffer of the computer that you're using. So how long does all this take and how do we measure it? I made a really simple setup. I just plugged a keyboard into a speaker, put a microphone next to the keyboard and a microphone next to the speaker and measure the time difference between the key going down and the sound coming out the speaker. The top blue track here shows the signal from the microphone just above the key of the keyboard, and the second one, the green one, shows the sound that's actually coming out the speaker. So if I measure the difference between the start of these two waveforms, it gives me the total latency of the system. So at a buffer setting of 64 samples, Stagebox gives me a total latency of 9 milliseconds. When I increase the buffer to 128 samples, it goes to 12 milliseconds. And then 256 samples gives me 14 milliseconds, and 512 gives me 25 milliseconds. When I do the same experiment in main stage, I get broadly similar numbers. They're a little bit higher. So when I set the buffer to 64 samples, I get 12 milliseconds. 128 samples is 16 milliseconds. 256 samples is 25 milliseconds. 512 samples is 41 milliseconds. Now, what these numbers actually mean in practice is going to be different depending on your playing style, what kind of MIDI controller you've got, what kind of sounds you're playing, and just how you respond to it as an individual. For me personally, I find that if that total latency number is around 15 milliseconds or less, that feels like a really good, fast, responsive system to play on. So what do these numbers look like if you measure hardware keyboards? I did the same test, and I measured my Hammond organ over there, my Base Station 2, and my Nord Wave 2, which is behind me. I found that on the Hammond organ, the latency is a tiny 4 milliseconds. On the Base Station 2, it's more like 6 milliseconds. And on the Nord Wave 2, it's about 8 milliseconds. I think the reason that the Hammond organ feels so fast is that there's no key scanning involved. There's literally a key contact under each key that connects directly to a mechanical tone generator. Also, those key contacts are really close to the top of the key, so it's a very small key travel before a sound actually comes out. The Base Station 2 is kind of interesting because it's an entirely analog keyboard, but it still has to do key scanning to tell that analog sound engine which notes to play and when. Just for fun, I also measured my Juno 60, which to me has always felt like a really great keyboard to play, and that came out as 20 milliseconds, which I thought was really high. So it just goes to show that sometimes the numbers that you measure don't actually tell you everything that you need to know about the experience of playing an instrument. So what does all this mean in practice? Well, I think it means that if you're putting together a computer-based keyboard system, you've got to be really mindful of matching up a really good controller with a type of software that lets you run at low latency with software instruments that respond in a really musical way. With a MIDI controller, I think it's a good idea to try and find one with a good fast scan rate, say 10 kilohertz or more. If you dive into the manufacturer details of various controller keyboards, you should be able to find what that scan rate is.
With software instruments, I think it's just a good idea to experiment. I've found that different samples might sound really good on the face of it, but just don't really respond very well when you're playing them. Sometimes this is to do with velocity layering and just the way samples are mapped, but quite often it's to do with how the sounds are actually generated. I've had really good luck using some of the modelled instruments like Piano Tech and the UVI Rhodes, where they're not actually using samples at all, but they're generating a sound each time you play a new note. I've always found those instruments feel a bit faster and more responsive to play. So I hope you found this useful. Please check out my other videos. I'm putting together a whole bunch of content about setting up laptops for live shows and particularly for keyboard players. See you next time.